guys, Sean G. Phillips here, our brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday. Sean video today. They're going to go out today, since came out today, since things are on sale. Now today, though, new release-wise, some of the bigger things that were coming out today was the film uh, Reminiscence. Uh, that was releasing today, as well as uh, Respect was coming out. Also, the um, the complete series, not the complete series, the complete first season of the reboot series of um, Saved by the Bell, uh, that releases today as well. There's also a couple other things as well, and also, though, at the end of this video, is going to be a whole bunch of brand new DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K reviews. There's some things I received to review and talk about for you guys. And as always, too, let me know what you guys thought of the DVDs and Blu-rays that I reviewed at the end of this video, what you guys thought of them, if you guys have seen them, and also if you guys plan on picking any of them up. But anyway, though, guys, let's get going and see what we can find today. Into Target we go. So we'll check here in the front. I'm not really expecting much of anything to be changed out out here. Uh, you know, you never know with this, lo this these locations. This one particularly doesn't seem to change this stuff out in the front as much as some of the other ones. It's really random. Some of them change it out like every single week. And other ones that kind of have the same stuff for a while. I don't see anything new from this week. I think Suicide Squad was a week or two back. So yeah, nothing new. Sometimes randomly on the sides, there's like you just see something new show up in here. Like just totally, total random. Like with what would, new would be show up in here. Like um, that Night of the Reanimated Dead, which I think it's probably in the wrong spot because it says Great Pumpkin uh, Charlie Brown. But like I said, randomly sometimes stuff shows up in there. But we'll head over to the actual section and see what else is over there, though. And fingers crossed the stuff is out, though. But we will see. So we'll take a look over here and see. And it actually looks like there's an exclusive here for uh, Respect here. I didn't even know there was going to be an exclusive for this one. And it's going to be $24.99. It has an exclusive slip cover on this one. So it's exclu exclu exclusive packaging for this one here. And it's, it's at the same price for the standard edition, uh, you know, as the uh, ex uh, Target exclusive one. But other than that, though, I don't see anything else new here today out in the front. Let's see if there's anything else randomly here on the side. It seems to be all the same stuff over here. They seem to... They put out some of the Christmas stuff out here, like Jingle All the Way, Santa Claus, uh, Deck the Hall, some of these holiday ones. Oh yeah, these are some newer ones I wanted to show too. I saw these ones have just started coming out. They're like, I think they might have done these in the past, but maybe, and they might have been like a little bit different, but these are like the snow globe versions of ones like Elf, uh, Christmas Story, uh, you know, Christmas Vacation, Polar Express, Rudolph the Resnose Reindeer, Frosty the Snowman, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, and then the live action one, Charlie Brown. Christmas down there. Let's see if there's anything else here on the side. I don't see anything else different like uh, Paw Patrol was last Tuesday. They have like the Home Alone ones here on the side. Uh, Christmas the Cranks down there which just is coming out to Blu-ray now as well. But other than that though, like I said, I don't see anything else here different today though. And I also want to let you guys know, if you guys didn't hear, uh, you know, this coming Tuesday, you know, next Tuesday, I'm going to be shooting uh, the newest film that I'm going to be directing, Amityville Bigfoot. I'm really, really looking forward to doing this one. And I, I mentioned this about a week or two back, and if you guys were interested in, I was doing special thanks credits, if you guys were interested in helping out in the project. Uh, I was doing spe uh, $20 special thanks credits for the film and I have a link below if you guys are interested in doing that but just make sure though you guys put in your um, full name and everything for the IMDB credit because you have credit on IMDB and then in the special thanks and the uh, credits of the film uh, as well for that one I just want to say though thanks again guys for all the support on these films I, I appreciate it so much and especially this one too I'm really excited for this one this is going to be a really really fun really fun movie I'm beyond excited to do this one but that's what I'm going to be doing next week so we'll be doing that you know from Tuesday until the following Monday is when I finish. But now I'm going to head over to Walmart and we'll see what they have out in here because this location actually had some stuff out. I was in it about maybe like three days ago and they had a few new things on the shelf. So we'll see. You know, I don't know what this guy's doing in the car, but we'll see, you know, what they have out in there. But fingers crossed, hopefully something's on the shelves today new. But you never know, but we will see. So it's playing real loud music too, like bassy. Into Walmart we go. But we're going to head back and see what's out. Like I was saying, I was here, I don't know, a couple days ago, and there was a few new things on the shelf. But what's funny is, though, like, sometimes when that's happened, like, I've come, like, a, a few days later, and then all this stuff was gone again. So I'm thinking either it sells or, like, I don't know what happens. It's very strange. You know, the stuff kind of disappears. And it's like, it looks to me like some of it's still there. I don't see anything new on the shelf. I'm, I have to be honest too, am I the only person too that like the noises of those carts, like I don't know, it's, it drives me crazy, like the, the sound of that all the time in here, but let's see over here, like I see the spot, like respect right here, uh, 
Old Henry was one of the other ones today. Reminiscence here. I see Pig, that was out last Tuesday and stuff like that. But I don't see anything else different right here. The one guy is in the, um, the section over there, you know, doing some stuff, like putting some things away and everything. But no, I don't see anything else new. He probably, he might be putting some of it out over here though, because like, like I said, I see everybody over here. But I actually have to head back over to the section because I saw, uh, you know, the guy was putting out a bunch of stuff and I saw a handful of new things over there, but he was kind of like in the way. So there's like no way to like look at it and like discuss it or anything with the guy like right there. But I saw a handful of, a handful of new things over there. So we're going to head back and see if I can like get a, you know, a quick peek if the guy's not in that spot because he was kind of like right in that way, in the way. So there was like literally no, no looking. Let's see. I don't... Let's see, he's moving over there now. Let's see. There's those carts that make all the noise. Yeah, this is one of the ones that I saw that I was mentioning that was today. The um, Saved by the Bell, the complete first season. I actually got this one uh, yesterday at a different Walmart. Uh, and I wasn't sure if that one was actually going to come out. And that's uh, $19.99 for that one. And this is one of the things that came out today for $45. This one, this is a, one of my brother's favorite animes. This one, uh, Neon Gen uh, Genesis Evangelion. But I think he was telling me, though, this is the... It doesn't have, like, the original... Uh, dub on them or something it has like a different dub it doesn't have the original one uh, on this particular release or something like that but that one's $45 uh, for that one I'm always trying to be very careful to push these things back right because these always catch on everything so I'm being very careful but other than that though uh, today uh, this one here witch hunt I think came out today for $12.99 I don't know anything about this one if you guys have seen this who's in this one? Oh, oh this one looks interesting it has um I think I might have saw something about this. I, might, I don't know if there's a Blu-ray of this one or not. It's $12.99. This has that um, Gideon Adlon in it, you know, from um, Blockers. This might be interesting. I'm going to look this one up and see if there's a Blu-ray or not of this one before I get it. Uh, other than that, the Snowpiercers, the complete second season was today. And then uh, the uh, Legends of Tomorrow, uh, the complete sixth season for $19.99. And then this is out here now too, the old Henry, uh, the old Henry DVD and Blu-ray. There's an, oh yeah, and Four Good Days. That was one of the other ones that came out today, the Mila Kunis one. But other than that, though, like I said, I don't see anything else different over here, though. Like I said, I'm gonna ch I look this one up though and see, uh, you know, if there's a Blu-ray or not for this. And I don't, I don't think that there is though. Yeah, so I ended up getting that uh, the witch hunt one, and I, and I looked it up. It doesn't look like there is a Blu-ray or anything like for this uh, Blu-ray for this one. It's one of those ones though. They might end up being like down the line, like a burn on demand or manufacturing demand type one. Uh, I, I I don't know though for this one. You never know. But like I said, this one definitely looked interesting though. But now though, gonna head to the other Walmart just to see if there's anything else different at that one though. Into the second Walmart we go. Fingers crossed there's some stuff out in this one. But this one usually is the good one, but we will see. So we're gonna head back and it looks like I'm seeing some of the new stuff out today. And that's funny too. Oh yeah, like they usually have that where it's like a different kind of cover on the DVD, um, like Warner Brothers does, does that a lot. So the Reminiscence one has a different cover on it. Kind of like slightly different, you know, with the colors to it and everything. Uh, the 4K for this one, I don't think will be sold in stores. I think it's like a manufacturer on demand one. It's a press disc, but I don't think, it, it might not be in stores though. I don't believe so. The other one today was Old Henry. And if you guys have seen this one, let me know how this one was. That's $17.99 for the Blu-ray, uh, $12.96 for the DVD, and then Respect, that was one of the other ones today. Uh, that one was $22.99 for the uh, Blu-ray, $17.96 for the DVD. And this one, I believe there's a Blu-ray as well, this one, Four Good Days. I think this one is like was on uh, Hulu originally, was where it originally was. Uh, other than that though today, uh, this one, Emily in Paris, uh, that released today, and that's $17.96 uh, for that one. Let's see if there's anything else over here on the side. Not seeing anything else new here mixed in, but over here though is where there should be a bunch of newer things here. Some of the other ones I saw them stocking. So there's a few other ones that they didn't have in that location. They have the Witch Hunt one I just got. Uh, these ones I believe were last week. I think these ones came out today though. This Joy and Hope one here. I don't know anything about this one. You guys have seen this one though, let me know how this one was. This one, uh, and then uh, this one, Deck the Heart, two, like two different uh, holiday ones. And then the Emperor's Sword, I don't know if that was this week or not. And then they have the Evangelion one here uh, for $45. It's cool to see that one uh, sold in here. Uh, other than that though, let me just see if there's anything else mixed in here. Sometimes there might be some stuff like right here in this spot 
randomly mixed in. You always have to really look because it's like really random. Makes me it's like randomly kind of just in random spots in here. But it doesn't look like it as far as I can tell. Like I'm not seeing anything else random mixed in. I did see a couple of different um, holiday ones over here. Like um, they have some of their holiday ones out with like slip covers. They're not the ones with the snow globes like they had in Target. But these are the ones that just have like a, um, a different slip cover over the DVD. So they have like Elf. Uh, the, the Dolly Parton one, uh, the Harry Potter one. So that's a cool Harry Potter one that has like a Christmas holiday look to it. Polar Express, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, Charlie Brown, uh, Frosty the Snowman, Trolls, Shrek collection here. So yeah, a bunch of different ones here though. But other than that though, not really seeing anything else different here today though, as far as I can tell, besides uh, the, these main ones here though. Into Best Buy we go. So we're head back here and see, you know, what's out and everything. I, didn't, I never noticed they had like a bunch of like figures and like these toys and stuff over here, like these necklaces and stuff like that. Maybe, I mean, I just never noticed them that they were over here, cause, or they, or they've only recently started getting them. But yeah, they have a bunch of different ones in here, like these Batman ones, stuff like that. But we'll see what's new. I see like, um, what are these like Mad Max um, Beyond Thunderdome ones? I guess. Maybe they didn't, they were either sold out or they didn't put them out yet. I think they must have been like steel books of them or something like that, I think, for those ones. Let's see over here though, uh, if there's anything different. Oh yeah, so this was one of the ones that came out today. This one, uh, Four Good Days. And I know this one is on Hulu, but I'm, I'm definitely interested in seeing this one. It looked kind of interesting to me with Mila Kunis and Glenn Close. Let's see though, other than that though, uh, here uh, on the rocks was a couple weeks ago. Uh, the, the DC's Legends of Tomorrow, that was one of the other ones that, that came out today. And I really like the cover on this one. That one is a $22.99 for that one. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Let me see, I'm trying to see too if they had the Evangelion one in here as well. Because I feel like they would because they had that in, um, in Walmart. Let me see anything else mixed in here. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss over anything here. Don't see anything else different here. I still have yet to see though, and I mentioned this last week, the Signs of the Lambs uh, 4K in here. It's really weird. Like I saw a lot of people showing it in their videos and stuff, but I've yet to see it show up in here. But let's see over here. I see like a bunch of boxes down here, but I do see, um, uh, let's see. So I see the uh, Hacksaw Ridge, which was last week, but they have Respect here for uh, $23.99. And then $23.99 uh, for the Reminiscence one. Oh yeah, this was one of the other ones that came out today. This Batman Year One, uh, the um, commemorative, commemorative, commemorative edition here on 4K for $23.99. Uh, but other than that though, let me see if there's anything else mixed in. But no, that seems to be all the main uh, things. I might get this one here. I don't, like I said, I don't see the Evangelion one unless it was already sold out. It could have been like randomly somewhere around here. Usually like the animes are in this spot from what I've noticed. But I don't see it here today, like I said. But I think I might get this one here. This one has like a little thing weird on the side. But I think I'm gonna get this one. But yeah, other than that though, I don't see anything else uh, different here though, as far as I can tell. They are starting to have like a lot of the Black Friday stuff out, like the TVs and microwaves and all this kind of stuff. But I don't know for sure this year, it, like what they're gonna do for Black Friday, if there's gonna be anything in store sale wise. Like if you guys heard anything, let me know in the comments below, like what you've heard and stuff like that for it. Because like I said, I have not heard a lot this year, um, you know, about what's gonna be actually in stores uh, sale wise. But yeah, other than that though, like not seeing anything else different and don't see that, I guess like I said, I just do not see the Signs of the Lambs thing in here unless it like is like randomly like up here or something like that. It's like getting put in a really strange spot. But it, to me, it doesn't seem like this location ever or at least any of the ones out here at all got uh, the 4Ks of that one. So anyway though guys, that was off my DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video today and I ended up getting that uh, Four Good Days uh, Blu-ray one uh, in there. But like I said, if you always, if you guys enjoy these uh, DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping videos, I definitely give this video a thumbs up. Also though, in the comments below though, let me know, you know, what you guys picked up on DVD, Blu-ray, or 4K. If you guys ended up, you know, picking up anything new today. Also, let me know as well anything new that you guys have watched on TV, any new TV shows you guys are watching, or any new films that you guys have seen recently as well. And also too, be sure to let me know what you guys thought of the DVDs, Blu-rays, and 4Ks 
Ways that I reviewed at the end of this video. If you guys have seen them, what you guys thought of them, and also if you guys plan on picking any of them up. And also too, like I said, if you guys were interested in getting the special thanks credit on, you know, um, uh, Amityville Bigfoot, I'll have a link below for that one. And thanks again, guys, for all the support on the film. And I'm also doing like privately too, you can message me on my Facebook if you were interested in like producer credits and stuff like that on the movie uh, as well. But anyway though, guys, now stay tuned for the brand new DVD and Blu-ray reviews. And the first one I got here is from Arrow Video, and this is one that I am so excited about that is, you know, at now out finally on Blu-ray. And this is one that I've been hoping for for a Blu-ray release forever. I absolutely love this movie so much. And if you guys know me, I, I like some of my favorite movies of all times, at least when it comes to settings, is mall settings. I love movies that are set in malls. And this is like the ultimate mall film. This is one here called Phantom of the Mall, uh, Eric's Revenge. And this one is also a really early film which uh, Pauly Shore is in, like one of his early earliest films and it's like all takes place in a mall and it's essentially though about someone who is haunting this mall it's this brand new mall and basically though you find out you see in the very beginning of this movie though there's a fire something has happened and where this fire had happened and someone had died now the mall is built and basically though it's kind of like the Phantom of the Opera where it's like somebody is haunting this mall and killing people and it's and there's way more to the whole thing but it is a great movie I absolutely love this movie and like I said, if you guys like mall films, this like uses every single like you know section of this mall you could imagine. It's also in the Sherman Oaks uh, Gallery Mall, which is a amazing mall. You know, they, it's no longer you know, they they tore it all down and redid it. It's like not at all the same. But this is also a great release here. They did an amazing job on this one. It has three different versions of the film, but it's in this hardbound case. But in here though, I'll show you guys the stuff on here. It's just a limited edition two disc version. But this has on here three versions of the film. It has the theatrical cut, the TV cut, and it also has a composite cut as well, which is a combining them both together on there as well. And then it also has a 60-page booklet in here as well. It has on here a brand new commentary track on here with the director. It has on here a brand new commentary track on here with film historian Amanda Ray's on here. Uh, comment, uh, brand new interviews on audio interviews in here with the composer as well as the associate producer on here. Uh, the making of the Phantom of the Mall documentary on here. Uh, but it's really, really great release here. I'll show you guys the look inside. There's some like lobby cards in here uh, as well for this one and it has the back like Midwood Mall but like I said this is an amazing movie if you guys have never seen this movie I've watched this movie so many times throughout the years but I, I love this film and I'm hoping to like especially since like there's you know Arrow is starting to put out more like lesser known stuff which I really really like I'm hoping for like um, uh, Summer Camp Nightmare that was another like kind of obscure one from this similar period of time uh, that you really don't hear about much and that one never even had a US DVD release or anything so that'd be a really cool one but here's a look at the double-sided poster this has like the original uh, poster artwork for this one which I always like this original image for this and the brand new artwork on here as well but this is a great uh, release here and like I said there's also a booklet this is also this is the image that's on the old uh, DVD for this one and the, the DVD of this one the original one uh, is you know out of has been out of print for years and is a really really valuable one now though you know with this release it's not, not worth anything anymore because it's just like a, a like a bad like I think it was like I don't even know if it was widescreen or not but what one like this one though is great looks great here a great transfer in the movie uh, but I'm so glad it's now out on blu-ray and the other one here from Arrow video and this is the brand new 4k edition here of Wes Craven's The Hills Have Eyes which is a movie which I absolutely love this movie I have watched this movie throughout the years so many times if you guys don't know the movie it's basically about a family that's kind of like tr traveling through the desert and they take this like shortcut. They hear about a cut cutaway way to kind of go save some time and everything, and they end up going in this way. And, and they basically they end up uh, the weird families out there living in these hills and put something down the road so they have an accident out there, and then they basically find themselves trapped out there uh, and you know in the middle of nowhere. Why there's this crazy cannibalistic family trying to kill them and stuff. But I, I love this movie. I like the remakes of the movie as well, like the remake and then the sequel to it. I thought was really good as well. But this one has on here though the brand new 4k restoration of the film viewable with both the original and alternate endings on as well on this one here it has a limited edition 40 page booklet on here a commentary track on here uh, with actors michael berryman uh commentary track on here with academic uh mike j hoven uh commentary with wes craven on here uh archival making of on here looking back i'll show you guys a look inside here as well it also has a poster 
uh, for the film as well. The double-sided uh, poster, which has the original uh, poster artwork as well as the new artwork on here uh, as well. And then there's also a, um, a book within here with some stuff about the production. It's Michael Berryman there. But a really great movie. I've watched this movie too, like I said, so many times throughout the years. Looks great here on 4K. But these, like I said, these are really, really cool uh, new releases here from Arrow Video. And so exciting too, like I said, that Phantom of the Mall is finally out on Blu-ray. The next one here is from uh, Lionsgate. This is a movie which stars Steve Martin, which he wrote as well, which I never had seen this movie before. I don't know how I never had. And it's a movie here called L.A. Story. And this is a fun movie. It's kind of like... um. Like a, in some ways, a little bit of like a parody of like I, I sort of is though of like those kind of romantic kind of comedy kind of uh, dating kind of movies, and it's kind of about like he he like is having a lot of um, dating issues and problems and stuff, and it's all kind of like set in the L.A. background about like the L.A. lifestyle and all this kind of people and the kind of stuff that they're doing and everything. And the one day he starts seeing the like the weird signs outside that say like road work ahead or danger lane close and that kind of stuff. He's starts seeing on one of those signs it kind of starts giving him like clues about something and it's like telling him that he needs to do something specifically and it has to sort of solve this riddle and everything so it's basically about him trying to solve this riddle and then he, it's like with him dealing with like kind of a love triangle sort of situation about these two women that he likes and everything I, I like I said it's a fun movie that's done in that kind of style of like with writing of like the jerk where it has like that kind of over the top kind of wacky stuff that you know Steve Martin likes and I, I really like Steve Martin's humor especially like this kind of humor that he did in this movie which is sort of similar to the jerk kind of vibe uh, as well uh, the Carl Reiner ones that he did uh, but this has on here though feature wise it has deleted and scenes and outtakes on here uh, it has um, some featurettes on here uh, theatrical trailer marketing materials as well on this one the other one here is from Lionsgate as well and this is also a brand new Vestron uh, video release here and this is um, number 23 from the Vestron uh, line and this is a movie which stars Patrick Swayze called Steel Dawn. And this is one you don't hear about too often. It's kind of like a Mad Max uh, type of film. And I remember, it's kind of funny, I remember seeing this one years ago, probably around the same time that I, you know, when I was really young, I first saw, I think, The Road Warrior. I think I remember, like, renting this one. And it was one of those kind of things where... As a kid, you know, you kind of mix things up a little bit. So I think it's, it, I kind of would like, um, you know, every time I would see like Mad Max later, I was always like, well, I always kind of remember stuff that was like in this movie. You know, it's kind of like a weird thing that I kind of was remembering stuff from this and then mixing it up with the Mad Max movies, like from, like I said, from seeing these as a kid. But this is basically has a similar kind of, kind of vibe though. And Patrick Swayze's kind of has to defend against like these bad people that are kind of con trying to control uh, the water and the stuff like that out there and th that kind of stuff. It's, it's Like I said, it's got that same kind of road warrior kind of vibe, but it's I, I always like these post-apocalyptic films. It's a very fun movie. It has on here a comedy track on here with the director. It has on here interviews on here with the screenwriter, interview on here with the director of photography. It has the archival making of feature out on here, still gallery, as well as a theatrical trailer on this one. The other one here is from Lionsgate, and this is... um. A steelbook release here to let you guys know is available. And this is a 4K Ultra HD edition. This includes the 4K, the Blu-ray, and a digital copy. This is a Best Buy exclusive steelbook of the film Hacksaw Ridge, which is directed by uh, Mel Gibson, which I really like this movie. I saw this one in theaters when this one first came out. I remember really, really being impressed with this film. And, you know, when it comes to, like, you know, like, war films, I don't like all of them. I really don't. There's, like, you know, some of them I'm really not that interested in. Uh, this one, though, in my opinion, was, I would say, one of the best ones that I've seen, at least in the, in the last... Uh, a handful of years I would say is like t definitely one of the top ones but like I said one of you guys on this was available a really cool uh, Best Buy exclusive steelbook release of Hacksaw Ridge which like I said if you guys have not seen this movie definitely one I would recommend you guys check out the other one here is a really really cool release here this is from Lionsgate as well and this is a really cool edition here and this is called the Evil Dead uh, the Groovy Collection here this includes the Evil Dead the Evil Dead 2 as well as Ash versus Evil Dead the complete collection here but it it also includes the Blu-rays as well as the 4Ks of Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2. But like I said, this is a really, really cool uh, collection here. I love the way this is designed. You have on the back like the cabin, the Evil Dead cabin in the back here. Just look on the side. And the way this one opens up is it kind of comes out like this. And um, it, see, I can't, I couldn't tell technically if you were supposed to remove this like this because they they can come off on the side. I think you technically are supposed to. I wasn't sure, but it opens up like this, and inside is a um, is a booklet here, and you have like Ash right here in the front, 
and then I'll show you guys how this opens up. So inside it has like um, in the front the Evil Dead Groovy Collection, and then the first one hat here has the Evil Dead and the Evil Dead 2, and this one has both of the um, the 4K editions of both of the films. And then you have Evil Dead 2, and right here this has the um, the Blu-ray uh, versions of each of the films as well. So yeah, this has Evil Dead and then Evil Dead 2 on Blu-ray, and then you have Ash versus Evil Dead, and you have the complete first season here. Then you have have uh, the complete second season of the show and then you have the complete uh, third season of the show and then also there's a bonus DVD in here as well with archival feature like be features from uh, the films as well here but this is a really really cool release here like, I absolutely love uh, this edition here of uh, yeah, like I said this and this has like I was saying Evil Dead 1 and 2 on uh, Blu-ray as well as 4k and then the entire series of Ash versus uh, you know uh, Evil Dead here but a really, really cool collection here from Lionsgate. And the next one I got here is from Universal, and this is one I was really, really looking forward to seeing because I absolutely love the original film. And this is technically considered a sequel to the original film, with the way that this story goes. But this is the brand new uh, Candyman here. I mean, this one is, you know, um, produced by Jordan Peele. And I really, like I said, was really looking forward to seeing this one. I actually really like this one a lot. The one thing, though, that the original Candyman had, though, that this one didn't have as much was um, the original one had, like, the music in it was amazing. Like, there's this thing about the way that music was and the way it like really flowed with the story though this one though had really cool music as well it kind of was reminding me a little bit of um the music in us it had that kind of feel to it a little bit that kind of like kind of when you were hearing like a tone over and over again like this kind of and they would like do weird stuff to it to make it very creepy and strange. It kind of had that kind of feel to this. And this is basically, though, takes place after, you know, the Cabrini Green's, you know, uh, co apartment complex was all torn down, which is where, you know, the original film took place, where Candyman was in the building killing everybody and that kind of stuff. Basically, that was torn down. And this is focusing on an artist who is kind of interested in the, the, the past and is kind of doing um, an art piece and painting these things on Candyman and kind of having these visions and stuff like that. And essentially, he goes to see the Cambrini Breen, uh, you know, what's left of it. And he ends up getting stung by a bee on his hand. And basically from there, he sort of starts to get kind of connected to Candyman and starts to sort of seeing weird things and weird sort of things start to happen to him. He starts to sort of change and stuff like that. I thought this one was really, really cool. Uh, if you guys, like I said, if you guys like the original film, I would definitely say this is worth checking out. What this one has on here, though, uh, it, this has the never uh, before seen alternate ending on here. It also has a deleted and extended scenes on here, some featurettes on here and the making of on this one. But like I said, definitely. Definitely one I would recommend you guys check out. Looks great here on 4K as well. The other one here is from Universal as well. And this is the um, biopic film on Aretha Franklin called Respect. And this is basically, though, this stars, you know, Jennifer Hudson as Aretha Franklin. I thought she did an amazing job in here. And also, uh, this has um, Marlon Wayans is in the film as well. So it was really cool to see Marlon Wayans in here in a serious role. Because I, I really love, you know, I've always been a fan of Marlon Wayans. And when you look at, like, because um, he always was known for doing a lot more comedy, but then he did Wrecking for a Dream and did, like, a really, really serious, like, intense, like, one of those kind of roles that you kind of, like, takes a very long time to recover from playing because it was just so intense uh but you know he hasn't done a lot of as much serious stuff after that so it's really cool to see him doing more serious roles because he really is a great actor like i said i've always been a fan of him but this is basically though all about her kind of you know rise to stardom and kind of how she started and, and how kind of the ups and downs in her life and all this kind of stuff that she went through and, and basically like i said just a biopic on her life but is really really well done here this one has on here feature wise the making of respect becoming aretha franklin feature on here from musical souls exploring the design of respect on here uh, as well uh, the next ones here are from uh, Warner Brothers. They sent over a free copy of these ones, copies of these ones to let you guys know these ones are available. And this one here is a film that stars Hugh Jackman called Reminiscence. And this is an interesting movie. This was kind of making me think of that one film... I think it was like in the cut, which I think was that with our cut or something like that with Robin Williams in it. I can't remember exactly what it was called, but I think it might have been in the cut. But it was basically like he was like an editor and like editing people's lives, and he was like had the ability to look back on it and kind of would cut together like the highlight reels of people's lives and everything. And essentially, in this, uh, um, Hugh Jackman's character. It's a set in the future, too, where, like, the world is kind of flooded, and it kind of reminded me of, like, Waterworld. And basically, though, uh, people, like, um, he has the ability to go and, like, 
kind of like make people relive certain memories. So they have certain things that they really liked or certain things that they did and want to like relive them again. He has the ability to help them like see these memories and take them back to that exact time. But essentially though, it, it, he, he, one of the people that he meets, Rebecca Ferguson's character, it's like he ends up meeting her and then that he has to kind of solve something from her and it's kind of like he starts diving into something and it becomes a problem from what he's doing and stuff like that. So he's kind of using it for a different way of to solve. Like, like I said, I don't want to ruin anything about this, but it was a, a very interesting movie. But this one has on here, feature-wise, Reminiscent Family Reunion, Westworld Team Meets Again, The Sunken Coast, uh, talking about the feature out on the f Sunken City on here, uh, Behind the Scenes on here. It uh, also has a music video on this one as well. The other one here is from... Um, uh, from Warner Brothers as well. They sent out a free copy of this as well to let you guys know this one is available. And this is one I want to let you guys know is available. And this is the complete sixth season here of DC's The Legends of Tomorrow. And I love the cover for this because it's done like a old school uh, VHS tape for this one. So really cool uh, design on this one. And if, if you guys don't know what this show is, I like this one. It's basically though kind of like the um, the characters can kind of go back in time and it's basically going and sort of stopping bad things from happening or stopping like kind of like if a villain or something goes back in time they have to sort of stop them but they can kind of go and take over people's bodies essentially when they go back in time and kind of like you know can go and like sort of try and stop things or change things in the past and that kind of stuff it's a really interesting series but this one has on here feature wise uh, Never Alone Heroes and Allies featurette uh, Visual Effects Creeps featurette on here Animation Split Screen featurette Unaired Scenes as well as Gag, um, a gag Reel on this one here uh, as well. The other one here from Warner Brothers they sent over a free copy of as well to let you guys know of is available. This is um, the complete second season here of uh, the show Snowpiercer which airs on uh, TNT and this is you know based on the film this is basically, though, it's set in the future where like everyone is kind of living on this this sort of running train that kind of is like this speedway train that's going by because outside in the actual world, everything is frozen over. It was this terrible ice storm, and pretty much the only people that are surviving are on this train. So it ends up becoming this whole like system of classes where it's like the rich class, the people that don't have money, and, and all this type of stuff that goes on the train and kind of trying to take over the train and that kind of stuff as well. But it's an, it's an interesting, you know, uh, it was interesting fear. Uh, film definitely an interesting series here as well this one has on here the some featurettes on the show uh it has on here um season one recap on here as well season two over uh, over um uh, overview, a uh, season two roundtable on here uh, as well. Uh, the next one here is one from Paramount to let you guys know that it is available. And this is, you know, from the creators of the show, The Haunting of Hill House. And this is The Haunting of Bly Manor here. And this is the um, a series that is on Netflix. Like I said, just want you guys to know that this one was available. And this one has on here, though, Home for the Haunted, The Ghost of Bly Manor, uh, Welcome to Bly Manor, a commentary track on here with uh, director and creator Mike Flanagan, a commentary track on here with Liam uh, Galvin, commentary track on here with director Al um, XL uh, Caroline on here uh, as well. And then the other one here is from Screen Media. And this was a fun movie. Uh, this one stars Michael Caine and Aubrey Plaza, and it's called Best Sellers. And this is basically like Aubrey Plaza's character works for this publishing house. She's like the editor there and everything. And she kind of took over it from her father who had passed away. And she hasn't had a lot of success with it. Uh, they haven't really had much luck with books or getting any like kind of higher profile uh, writers or anything like that involved with the with the with the um, publishing house anymore. So they're kind of like looking into the past and saying, do we is there any like people that we that have written for you know us in the past that are kind of successful or that we could that maybe that owe us a book or anything? So they go, go, start going through the archives and find out that Michael Caine's character, who was the writer that had written for them, he wrote one very successful book and then kind of went into hiding and became this recluse. Basically, they found out though that he owes them one more book, so she basically tracks him down and kind of convinces him to write this book and says that you owe this to us and he basically had already written this book he was just sort of sitting in his house and then it, and then they have to go on a book tour with it and it becomes this whole awkward thing and he doesn't want to do stuff and he just like he doesn't want to read the book and it becomes this whole big back and forth between them but a really fun uh, movie this one has on here though feature wise as bonus uh, blooper reel on this one the next ones here these ones are all from moviezing.com and I have a link below where you guys can order these ones for the best price but this first one though is one that I'm so glad is now out on Blu-ray. This is probably one of my top favorite, like in the in the top ten favorite Christmas movies of all time. Like at least the ones that I watch 
you know, ever since I've seen this one in theaters, I've always watched this one. This one came out in 2004. So ever since then, I've always watched this one. At least, you know, pretty much every year for Christmas. is This is one of those ones that I watch. And this is um, Christmas with the Cranks, which stars Tim Allen and Jamie Lee Curtis. And I don't know, like, for some reason, like, this is just one of those ones that I, like, absolutely love this movie so much. And I, like I said, the amount of times I've watched this one is pretty much every single year. And there's just, like, a lot of memorable stuff in here, too. But it's basically, though... Tim Allen's and, and Jamie Lee Curtis's character's daughter in the film is going away to college and she's not going to be coming home uh, for uh, Christmas because she's going to be going, I think it was like a, she was going to go with like a trip or something instead. But So then they decided that they're not going to go and celebrate uh, Christmas at all this year. So they, they kind of want to go and have a moratorium from Christmas. So both, you know, Tim Allen and Jamie Lee Curtis's character are like, well, without her here, uh, it's not the same. So we're just going to do nothing. We're going to not put up the frosty on the roof, not put up any decorations in the whole neighborhood is all into decorations and putting stuff up so they all have like they all kind of you know are not happy that they're not going to do this so basically though the whole neighborhood becomes up in arms that he won't put up decorations and they won't put up the the frosty but then of course something happens and it's like well maybe they're gonna have to have a christmas thing and it becomes a whole big nightmare but it is a really really fun movie if you guys have never seen this one and if you guys are like looking for like a holiday movie to watch if you guys have like ones that you don't hear about as much as some of the other ones uh, and you need something to look at this is definitely one I would recommend uh, it doesn't have anything new feature wise on here but like I said just glad to have it out on a blu-ray but this one has on here uh, theatrical trailers though for feature wise so it does have trailers on this one though and the next one I got here is from MovieZing.com as well. And this is also from Universal. And this is a really cool, uh, you know, favorable for the first time ever in a complete series here on Blu-ray. And this is the original The Incredible Hulk series here, you know, with Lou Ferrigno here, you know, on uh, Blu-ray. Like I said, this has the entire uh, series here. So the show uh, ran for five different seasons. I'll show you guys a look at the discs as well. But it also includes in here both of the TV movies as well that there were. So there are two different TV movies. But it has on here, though, introductions with Lou Ferrigno and Kenneth Johnson on here, Remembering the Incredible Hawk, an American classic featurettes. Uh, behind this uh, success, the story of the Incredible Hawk, uh, gag reel, audio commentaries on this one as well. But I'll show you, like I said, I'm going to show you guys a look at the discs here. So let me show you with the first disc, season one first. So season one here, and then it has on here introductions on here, Incredible Hawk audio commentary track on here, and then season two here, and that one has a married audio commentary track on this one. And then you have season three, and that has Remembering the Iconic, uh, Remembering the Incredible Hulk, an American classic feature out on this one. And then you have uh, season four here. This has creation of an uh, iconic uh, character, the Hulk, uh, Prometheus, part one and two audio commentary, in th inside, an um, inside an episode, Prometheus, a photo gallery. And then you have season uh, five here, and that one has behind the, uh, behind the success, the story of uh, Incredible Hulk, as well as the gag reel on this one. But a really, really cool collection here. Like I said, so cool to have these ones available on Blu-ray. And this is a show, too, that I remember so well as like a little kid seeing this one. I don't know if I was watching it like on I can't remember where they were re-airing it, but it was like a little kid. I always remember seeing this show so much. And the next one I got here is from MovieZing.com as well, and this is also from Vision Films. It's a movie here called Amazon Queen. This one was making me think a little bit of like Anaconda, one of those kind of things about a group of people going on like this uh, trip. And it's, it's not exactly like that, though, because it's about a group of people going on this like, you know, kind of river cruise kind of thing, uh, you know, in the rainforest. And basically, though, the people that are on the on the ship, it ends up, you know, on the boat, it ends up being like these these two people that are not exactly who they, they, they're, they, they're, you know, coming across as. And they're planning on to go out there and try and get this treasure and stuff like that. So it basically becomes them kind of trying to take over the boat and, you know, becomes like a whole nightmare of a situation for everyone on here. It's like very crazy movie. Like I said, this one here is called Amazon Queen. The other one here is from um, MovieZing.com as well. And this is also from um, the Warner Archive collection. And this is uh, Children of the Corn. Um, not Children of the Corn. Children of the Damned here. Which I always love these. Um, There's a handful of them that there was. There's, you know, Village of the Damned. Uh, Children of the, of the Damned. And then, you know, there was a remake one. But I know there's a couple other ones as well. But it's basically, though, something has happened. And all these kids, you know, were all born at the same time. And all the 
the kids kind of like are interconnected and have this tele telepathy kind of thing where they can kind of kind of intercommunicate with each other and basically like if they kind of like if you kind of cross these kids in this town it, you're not, it's going to end in not well for you and they kind of can control things and stuff like that it's a great movie I, I absolutely love all these films but this one here I think they might have been like a double feature version of this at one point I might be wrong about that but, but this one has on here a comedy track on here with the screenwriter as well as a theatrical trailer on here next one here is from from dark sky films it's a movie here called coming home in the dark and this is basically though this is an intense movie this is uh, about a group of these people uh this uh, this family that are going you know um kind of out in the middle of the of the woods kind of going uh, kind of like a hunting type thing out in the middle of the woods together and they end up coming across these two weird guys that are out there and you see them too they're like waving in this weird way and that's the one thing that always creeps me out the the idea of like I would never really be interested in like going camping out in the middle of the woods or going in like like weird trails in the middle of nowhere that no one's at because you never know there can be really weird people out there and you can come across them I don't know I always feel like I'd be the one that would have the luck in running into someone strange like that but basically though they end up coming across these guys and this family has to try and figure out what they're going to do and it becomes this whole nightmare of a situation it is a crazy crazy super intense film this one has on here though behind the scenes feature out on this one the next ones here are both from um, from Blue underground these are ones i want to let you guys know were available for the first time now on 4k and these are a great uh, series of films and this is the uh, maniac cop films and now maniac cop 2 and 3 are both available now for the first time on 4k now it also includes the, the blu-ray versions as well for both of the films but these are really amazing films. If you guys have not seen these ones, these are definitely worth checking out. These look great here on 4K. Now, on these ones, though, uh, you know, it has on, the, on them feature-wise, this has on here a commentary track uh, for this part two with the uh, William um, Lustang as well as Nicholas Wending Refn, you know, who's the director of Drive. Uh, theatrical trailers, isolated music track. And then on the um, disc two, it has deleted scenes, theatrical trailer, Cine Family Q&A with William Lustang. And then on part three, it has a commentary track with Alan Smitty. Uh, and then it also has a theatrical trailer. And then it has a commentary track with uh, Alan Smitty. And that's a brand new commentary track as well. It has deleted and extended scenes, theatrical trailer, poster and seal gallery as well on this one. And the next one I got here is from Vinegar Syndrome, and this is really cool. Vinegar Syndrome is starting to release movies that have never been released before, ever. So it's kind of films that were never finished, or like um, had kind of a problem with them or something, so they never had a release ever on DVD, Blu-ray, theatrical, anything like that. And this is one of the movies, it's the first film like that that they're releasing, and it's one here called A New York Ninja. And this is a really, really fun movie, and this movie didn't get you know released because it like all the audio or something had been lost, or something had happened with this movie. So it's interesting. It, Interesting watching this because it, everyone was like um, had to be redubbed. So people like Michael Berryman were dubbing over people in here. Uh, we dubbed, dubbed over the one villain character. Linnea Quigley was doing a voice in here. Uh, lots of different people. But this is basically like a, a guy who is getting revenge on how his wife was killed and like kind of like the police aren't helping and stuff. So he's kind of going and getting revenge on who was involved. But it's a really fun movie. But they did a great, a great job like restoring this film too for a lost movie like this. But I'll show you guys though. Inside it opens up like this and it has um, the image in science says I love New York Ninja and then it has in here a booklet Tale of Two Ninjas which has a, a booklet about the making of the film in here some stills and stuff like that about the production of the film and then uh, in here though it has a slipcover as well so it's like a two kind of slipcover one but it's a really fun movie this has a comedy track on here with re uh, rewriter redirector on here uh, has on here though extended making of a uh, uh, documentary on here uh, redirection on here interview on here uh, the, talking about the music on here, deleted scenes with commentary track on here, B-roll and outtake montage on here, but looks great here. But it's a really, really fun movie, and I definitely am looking forward to, you know, what other kind of releases that they do in the future of these movies that had never been released before, are uh, you know, like lost movies. Well, technically not even lost, they're movies that were never even finished. Uh, the next one here is from Vinegar Syndrome, and this is from their partner label. Uh, I think it was, uh, the company is... Um, I can't know what I don't know for sure what the partner labor was for this one for the company, but this is a movie which I you know was when it originally came out it only came out to DVD and this is the 4K edition here of the film. This is a movie here called Summer of '84. This is a great hardbound uh, slipcover edition here for this one. 
this one also has a slip cover underneath it here and here's the poster artwork i think this is the original image for this one and this is a great movie it's one of those movies too where it's kind of like all about you know where like um let me show you guys too inside here. There's like a, um, oh yeah, from Gunpowder and Sky is the company. So it has the Blu-ray as well as the um, the 4K version, but also has a missing uh, milk carton here uh, as well. But this is kind of, it's like one of those movies that's dealing with like, um, it's like it's kind of crazy it's like it's hard to explain because it goes in a lot of these kind of directions where like kind of people are going missing and then the kids are like suspecting the one neighbor and but then it deals with two like the samurai sword and then something really bad that happens with a samurai sword and kind of like covering it up and stuff like that it goes in all these kind of crazy directions this movie it's very hard to explain it has a very uh, a, a serious 80s kind of feel to the story and the vibe and everything to it it has like a real like lost 80s feel to this it's a great movie it has a count on here, feature wise comedy track on here with the filmmakers on here, blooper reel, brand new interview on here with the composer, uh, new interviews on here with the cinematographer, I mean, new, new interviews on here with the filmmakers, uh, gallery of storyboards on here uh, as well. But if you guys have not seen this one, uh, check out the trailer for this one. It's very hard to explain, but it's an absolute must watch. The other one here is from Vinegar Syndrome, and this is from their other partner label, uh, uh, AGFA and Bleeding Skull. It's one here called uh, Boarding House. And this is one of those ones I always remember hearing about. I remember. I think I saw this one years and years back. And this is like basically though about this house where like weird sort of things that happened. There was all these different kinds of deaths and stuff like that there. And now the house has been turned turned into like this boarding house. And there's like more and more weird sort of deaths that are happening to the people in this house. And it's like these kind of wacky, kind of crazy deaths, the way people are dying and stuff in here. It's a really ridiculous, crazy movie. This and it's a two-disc version here, which has the theatrical cut of the film from the uh, uh, preserving the 4K for his original 35 millimeter print uh, has a theatrical cut partial commentary on here uh, it has a 35 millimeter trailer home video trailers and TV spots it also has on disc 2 psycho killer which is the unreleased cut of the film like the um, uh, different cut of the movie and then it has on here um, uh, Sally and Jesse previously unreleased family film from the cinema from the um, filmmakers on here it also includes a commentary track on as well for this one uh, and the other one here this is a Region B release, and this is a from uh, 101 Films. This is a movie here which stars Elijah Wood and Luke Kirby called No Man of God. And this is basically, though, all about, you know, um, you know serial killer uh, Ted Bundy. And this is basically, though, about, you know, Luke Kirby's character. Uh, no, so it's, no, sorry, Elijah Wood's character who is this um, kind of, kind of, it's supposed to be kind of like a person who's sent in to kind of put together, like, how you kind of profile murderers and kind of like, how you put together the, the the characteristics of if this person could be and what makes someone a killer and this kind of stuff. So he's basically hired to put together these type of things. So he's kind of brought in to talk to Ted Bundy to see if he can get him to talk because Ted Bundy won't really talk to people. So he's kind of brought in to interview him and see, sort of kind of be, get kind of get information from him. But it becomes this kind of cat and mouse kind of game between them and like these mind games and stuff like that. It's a really interesting movie. And this one has on here though an interview on here with Elijah Wood, interview on here with uh, Luke Kirby, uh, interview on here. Uh, this is, also has a rigid um, packaging on here. Uh, it also has limited edition art cards as well for this one. But a really, really cool movie if you guys have not seen this one. Uh, the next one here is one I was really interested in seeing. And this is from uh, MVD and this is a documentary on uh, Kevin Smith called Clerk. And this is basically, though, I will say, though, uh, so, somebody that's followed Kevin Smith since pretty much, I, th I think, like, I don't, I, I guess it was, like, right before Dogma, I think, or... I don't know if it was a couple years, maybe the two years after Mars came out, but I, I, I basically followed him forever. So I kind of like one of those people that like everything he said, I kind of knew because like I think just because I've seen everything. So like, you know what I mean? So it's one of those kind of things. But still, it was really cool to, to hear all this stuff again because there's a lot of archival footage and rare stuff as well. And, and some stuff I didn't know, but it's like if you guys really follow Kevin Smith, you'll know a lot of the stuff in here. But still, it was really cool to watch. But this is basically all about Kevin Smith and how he started and how he, you know, um, you know him going through school and, and then kind of how he st first did Clerks and then kind of talking about how right afterwards Mallrats came and how that wasn't a success and it kind of goes through the whole thing uh, you know uh, just kind of how each of the movies kind of came and behind the scenes stories and people involved in them I, I thought it was a really well done documentary uh, I was definitely looking for got, glad to get to check this one out here like I said this one here is called Clerk uh, the next one's here these ones are um, Australian releases and these are from um, uh, Imprint Films and they're from Via Vision's Imprint Films 
Jones uh, line. And this is one that I love this movie. And this is one, the, um, the Blu-ray of this one in the U.S. is out of print. So, so glad to have a Blu-ray of this one. It's a movie here which stars uh, Jack Nicholson, uh, Helen Hunt, and Greg Kinnear. And this is a little true to life to me because I have a lot of OCD problems and like checking the door and making sure things are locked and uh, checking the refrigerator about a hundred times. Oh, did I check this? And oh, is it closed? And I have so many weird OCD things. So this is a lot of my kind of problems too. But this is a movie here called As Good As It Gets. And this is basically, though, he's just super OCD, and it's just kind of his uh, problems in, in his life and stuff like that. And it's just, it's hard to explain everything, but it's just kind of him uh, going through life and, and, and his relationships and stuff like that. I, I love this movie. Uh, this one has on here, though, commentary track on here with the director, and, as well as Jack Nicholson, Helen Hunt, and Greg Kinnear. It has on here all stacked up the crazy, curious case of as good as it gets, visual essay on here, isolated score track, as well as a theatrical trailer on this one. And I'll show you guys a little look inside here. That's the alternate artwork for this one here. And then the other one here is the movie, which is um, a really different movie for, um, you know, David Lynch that he directed called The Straight Story. This is basically about the 73-year-old man who travels, you know, this long distance on his uh, lawnmower. It's a really gr a fun movie. Uh, really glad this is out on Blu-ray here. I mean, this one has on here, though, a commentary track on here for a film critic um, on here. Mark and Bob, uh, the... Um, Making of on here uh, with the Minneapolis crew, straight and narrow inside the film featurette. Uh, and the next ones I got here are from Gravitas Ventures. And the first one here is a, a documentary here called Surviving Supercon. This is an interesting documentary. This is basically about this convention that's in Florida. And it's kind of like shows all the kind of behind the scenes of what it's like to put together a convention. Kind of like how this convention started. Like I said, it's a convention called Supercon. And kind of how it grew. And kind of just like, kind of, it just sort of shows like all the behind the scenes problems and Stuff like that so it's essentially like seeing a documentary kind of about like comic-con how you would put together like san diego comic-con or something like that but essentially this is how you know but instead of seeing like a really huge you know gigantic conglomerate kind of comic-con convention this is seeing a smaller mom and pop one and kind of about the troubles that they go through and all the behind the scenes going on and stuff like that really really well done documentary here uh the next one here is from uh, grouch's ventures as well this is one here called bigfoot famous this is a fun movie this is basically though this woman who kind of like really wants to be like you know she does like viral kind of videos and stuff like that and is always trying to see what will like make her go virus and you know viral and things like that and it's kind of come out that there's you know a bigfoot was seen in the woods and kind of is like a, a known thing now that there is a bigfoot and basically she wants to go and find the bigfoot and kind of like talk to it and like see if she can like interview it and get it in her video to help her go viral because like since people know that there is a bigfoot she figures if she actually gets this like really good like one-on-one -on -one video with the interview interview with the Bigfoot, then it will make her go really, really viral. But it's basically about her going out into the woods and kind of like, you know, the whole journey out there and kind of these wacky characters out there and all these kind of problems. It's a very, very fun movie. The other one here from Groucho's Ventures is one here called The COVID Killer. And this is basically, though, all set during what's going on in the world and set in, you know, in New York. But during all this stuff that's going on, there's this, this crazed, you know, killer. So it's like around this stuff that everyone have, is dealing with in the world at the same time, then there's this crazed guy going around and killing people and stuff like that. And he's like wearing the mask and everything. It's a, it's a crazy, you know, in, intense movie. And it, it has like some crazy over the top stuff as well on this one. But this was a really, really crazy fun movie. The the other one here is another film. Uh, this was all done, you know, from home, basically, you know, during lockdown. It's one here called Isolation. This is from Groucho's Ventures as well. This is a whole bunch of different filmmakers. They were all basically kind of the ta given the task of making these, you know, short films, you know, from what they had access to at home during lockdown, like the people that, you know, they were in their house, they could, you know, act in it, all that kind of stuff. And it was all these different horror stories that were done like that. It was really well done uh, stories on here, on here. And I always like these kind of anthology ones and especially ones too when you have to work kind of with the constraints of kind of what you have around and stuff like that uh the next one here is from Robert's Ventures as well and it's one here called the Manson Brothers Midnight Zombie Massacre and this is a very fun movie this is kind of like a wrestling is a wrestling uh zombie horror film and basically like it's like this Halloween kind of match going on this late night match and there ends up being like these so something happens with these zombies and it basically ends up being the wrestlers have to fight these zombies and then they have to try and survive against the zombies and they have to use you know, use their abilities and stuff to try and fight these zombies off and stuff like that. It's a very fun, like really crazy movie. Randy Couture is in the film. Uh, D.B. Sweeney's in the movie uh, as well. Uh, the next one here, this is from um, Wild Eye Releasing. It's a movie here called Sleep Eaters. And this is one of those movies that was kind of all set like in this sort of like um 
uh, insane kind of hot, like a as asylum kind of hospital and stuff like that. And it's basically though, you know, um, so something is going on in the asylum and it's basically the inmates of becoming like cannibalistic and stuff like that. It's kind of them trying to figure out exactly what is going on there and why this is happening. It's a cra crazy movie. This one has on here though, a commentary track on here, sleep, eat, repeat, behind the scenes documentary, bloopers, deleted scenes, news coverage, trailers on this one here as well. Uh, the next one here is from uh, SRS Cinema. This is a movie which is directed by um, Mark Polonia's son, Anthony Polonia, directed this film. It's a movie here called uh, Zilla Foot. And this is basically, though, it's done to be like a... Um, like it's kind of like a like a Godzilla style film and has that real kind of feel to it and it even has like it, I don't know just the way that it's all like with the effects and everything it really has that old school kind of vibe and it's basically though about like this gigantic gorilla kind of um, creature that has gone and kind of wrecking havoc and stuff like that but it also deals with these other creatures as well uh, but it's, it's really fun like if you guys like Godzilla type ones this is a, has that sort of Godzilla throwback kind of vibe it's done in that style and everything uh, but it also has on here, though, a new extended cut trailer slideshow on this one as well. And the next one here is one I want to let you guys know is available. And this is from uh, Scorpion Releases. And it's a movie here which stars Christopher Walken called, the, called the, Dog, the Dogs of War here. And this one has on here, though, the brand new 2022K scan uh, on here. Has a brand new, uh, it has interviews on here with the co-stars Paul Freeman and Maggie Scott, as well as the co-writer on here. And also has trailers on this one. And then this is pretty cool, too. Um, 88 Films is now starting to release uh, films in the U.S., uh, U.S. releases. And um, this is one here. Uh, called the Chinese Boxer here, and this is the one that stars Jimmy uh, Wang Yu here. Like I said, one of you guys on this was available, uh, and this is from 88 Films, and this is the uh, one of their U.S. releases here. And this has a um, slipcase, which has brand new artwork on here, has a double-sided fold-out poster on here, it has a comedy track on here, on this one, some TV spots on this one. Uh, Hong Kong trailer. I'll show you guys though a look inside here. Here's the poster which is included in here and is a double-sided uh, poster for the film uh, you know as well here. So really cool like I said really looking forward to hearing about what are some of the other future releases from uh, you know 88 Films does in the US. Uh, the other ones here are from MVD and these are both from the Art Marquee line. This is one here called Highway uh, Highway Hitcher here that I want to let you guys know is available and this one has on here the theatrical trailer for this one and the other one here is is one called Edmund. This is a movie which is directed by Stuart Gordon, which has William H. Macy in here, Mina Savarni, uh, Denise Richards, Julia Stiles. And this one has on here a commentary track on here with the writer on here, a commentary track on here with Stuart Gordon, as well as the producer. Uh, it has on here a making of on here, deleted scenes, as well as a theatrical trailer. And the last one is one I want to let you guys know is available from MVD as well. And this is a double feature. And this is the um, this is Macintosh and TJ. And this is uh, the Roy Rogers uh, double feature collection here. So it has Mac Macintosh and TJ, as well as Under Western Stars on this one. And then on Macintosh and TJ, that has a Lone Pine cast reunion on this one, interview on here with Billy Green Bush, Compton track on here, original onset footage. And then on Under Western Stars, that has Exploring the um, Al 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 Alabama Hills here, um, which has the Lone Pine uh, location documentary, new location under the stars trailer, and then McIntosh and TJ original theatrical trailer as well. But anyway, though, guys, that was all for the review portion of this video. And like I always say, if you guys enjoyed these videos, uh, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching, subscribing, and I'll see you guys later.